It's one of the most recognizable grounds in the world in the shadow of Devil's Peak. It is uh, Sahara Park Newlands and the venue for this fourth MTN One Day International between South Africa and uh, Pakistan. Hello and welcome to Cape Town. A little overcast today and a little cool, some rain overnight, but that uh, won't prevent play from starting on time here in this fourth MTN ODI. Mamul Haq, the Pakistan captain, Graham Smith, the captain of South Africa, and the match referee is Chris Broad once again today. Graham will be tossing. It is a tail. It's a head. And it is a head. And uh, Graham, congratulations. You've won the toss for the first time. What are you going to do? I worked out Inzi's method. No, I'm joking. Are we going to have a ball first? Um, there's been a lot of... More yeah, I know. Well, we're working on a few combinations. I mean, the spinner's working in the nets, and uh, you know, we just feel these are the best combinations here for us at the moment. And maybe going to the Caribbean, we'll have to look at a, a few different things. But also, you know, we feel that our combinations we can make do in the Caribbean. Um, you know, and we feel like we've we've got the best team on the on the field today uh, with with the injuries that we've got. And hopefully, good weather conditions. You're not getting much of a chance to try out a couple other players. Yeah, we were looking forward to batting the other night. You know, it looked like a pretty good wicket, and uh, you know, we backed ourselves to chase that down. But unfortunately, the weather intervened, and you know, there's been a bit of weather around in Cape Town. And uh, hopefully today it stays stays as it is, and we can get a good full day's cricket in for the crowd. Yeah. Good luck to you. Thanks, Bish. In Zimbabwe, you're batting first. Uh, weather conditions, bit overcast. Any problems? Uh, yeah, it's not really because his wicket is looking good, but it's definitely helped the fast bowlers because of weather. But I think is uh, is five for ten overs. Is we manage that. After that, I think is a good track for batting. Any changes in your team? I know Shahid Afridi starts serving a ban today. Yeah, his only one changing is uh, Rahman is playing off strain of Afridi. And your bowling options are a little bit limited there. Shahid Afridi has been doing a good job with the ball. Yeah, he's in form and he's doing it with the bat and ball. And but uh, unfortunately, he's out out for the team. But he's Abdul Rahman is doing well in the last series and hopefully he's doing well as well here. In Zimbabwe, good luck to you. Thank you. So just a uh, confirmation of what has happened out here in the middle. South Africa won the toss today. They'll be bowling first. Would Pakistan uh, be tamed in this game or would once again prove to be sinewy to get in behind the South African side? And it is a fantastic venue to play cricket at. Oh, that's immediately to Imran Nazir. His cries of catch it. The finger goes up. The foolish delivery from Sean Pollock. And that was with something decided to bowl first. Now, how much did this, in fact, move off the pitch? Top delivery through the inside. And take a look at this catch. Well taken by Mark Boucher. You've got to mark it down as a loose shot. Imran Nazir gone for none. Pakistan none for one. Yet again, the spotlight falls on Yunus Khan. Has played well for today. It's a new match. It's a new start. Has it dropped short? Or was it a chance? It was a good one. Nicely played by Yunus Khan in the end. Got to give credit to Yunus, really, for making sure that the ball goes down along the ground. Oh, gone. Direct hit. He's running and got. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. No luck whatsoever for Kamran Akmal. He could have come back had he not to beat Kamran Akmal's sprint back to the crease. This is what pressure does to you. You start to look for singles which aren't on. That's the green patchy area of the square and he slipped. And Gibbs realizing this was really smart thinking. He thinks of having a go. Sees the slip. Beats him for pace. Oh, how the Stormers could do with some of Gibbs's pace right now. Akmal gone. Pakistan in all sorts of trouble. Six for two. It's time now for two of Pakistan's best players, Mohammad Yusuf and Yunus Khan, to try and turn things around for them. In the air through the covers. And the first boundary of the game. Coming in the 11th over. Good stroke. They're starting to ease into it now, these two players. They're the class act in the Pakistan lineup, along, of course, uh, 
with Imzumam Ulhaq. Yusuf hitting that on the up. That was a superb shot. Smashed away through the covers again. This might uh, force a field change here. Got Kemp has moved from gully, sort of perched up at a very straight mid-on position. Back foot. Gone! Caught by Cullis at second slip. Pollock finds the outside edge and more problems for Pakistan. Hines Khan just looking to work this on. He was on the move as well when he played it. He didn't really have a base. Pollock picks up his second wicket in a fine spell of bowling. 23, Pakistan now for three. And Jamam Ulhaq. No spring chicken any longer, but uh, 11,000 or 11,500 plus runs in this form of the game. Oh, yes. Well, we spoke about it before. Oh, Whoa. brilliant. When a side are on a roll, they're in one. Here's one over the leg side, and that'll be a couple of bounces to the boundary. And, well, he's getting right across and helping himself. Taking a, a chop. And Mohammed Youssef on strike to Andrew Hall. Oh, that's a beautiful strike. And that is exactly what happens when you stray a little too straight against Mohammed Youssef. Balanced all the weight going forward, hands going into the gap, just a little flick of the wrist to accelerate the ball off the bat. You've got to bowl a little wider to him, all the protections on the offside. There's the catch. He's got the man who's so dangerous in this Pakistan side. And Andrew Hall is absolutely delight guarded down. He had 79 and PE and he got out like this again. That's the line to bowl. Straight to Inzamam, just outside off stump to Mohammed Yusuf. Mark Boucher does the rest. He gets his second catch. And Pakistan now in all sorts of trouble. In the 20th over, they are 41 for four. So Mohamed Yusuf, 21 in 29 balls. He's the rock around which the innings is usually built. Now someone else will have to do that job. Shoaib Malik is the new man for Pakistan, 25-year-old. 133 games, averaging 33 and 3,370 runs. That's just beaten the diving callus. It won't go to the boundary. He might have got a hand to it. Kemp and de Villiers. Yes. It has found the gap, though. It should race away. And the outfield has tended to be a bit slow when it reaches the boundary. And this is, again, excellent work by South Africa in the field. So given these days, the two have to chase the ball. And good relay work. The ball coming in nicely to Mark Boucher. Stroke by Inzaman. Off it somewhat. Too good a player to miss out. Ends the over 56 for four. He just got onto it very quickly and has smashed it away. Eyes lit up when he saw that. not uh, too short and into mom that sort of pace he's going to pull and does it well that's a great shot from in every chance and he's done it now twice in that he's got the opportunity just to put half a loose ball away he's done that that's a fine cricket shot
Nicely flicked away, and Andrew Hall has got to cover some ground, does well. Good work. South Africa one by six. Pitch with shot. I confess, uh, Remy's I misread. I thought it had quite a lot of runs in it. got off to a very good start down the leg side and it'll run away for four well Graham Smith just made that adjustment before the ordinary start Shweb Malik just using the pace of the ball and he found the gap quite easily in the end he's caught this one yes he got a little nick down the leg side bit of lap for Kemp you gotta say wasn't a good ball but hey you're gonna bowl some good ones was a plan to bowl that leg stump line and get him out. Unfortunate way to go. Just a faint edge and nicely taken by Mark Balcher. He's had another fruitful day. Kemp been put away for a boundary and then gets back into action by picking up Shweb Malik for 19. Pakistan 87 for 5. Razak, plenty of experience. Look at that strike rate up in the 80s. Oh, big appeal. That's reasonably straight. Boucher hasn't gone. Good call from the umpire, Russell Tiffin. Oh, yes. Off stump gone. And Pakistan slipped further into the mire in the 36th over. Kalaske deserved from Jacques Kalas. He's into his eighth over. He's taken, uh, well, none till this stage. And just a little bit of in movement. And bang, middle and... Uh, off stump, go crashing to the ground. What a sight for a bowler. Jacques Culler strikes. South Africa have got a real stranglehold on this. Pakistan, will they make 150? They've got to play well. Razak on for one. 93 for six. Azam Mahmoud has uh, come out to join the captain. He's got uh, experience. Hasn't played much in the last two years called into this side last week. It's gone! Fishing outside off stern, but away goes Azamamud. Kemp's got two. And Pakistan plunged to 94 for seven. Good stuff from Kemp and Boucher. Soft dismissal. Look how wide this is. Very soft dismissal. Almost played it off the face of the bat. That's giving uh, catching practice to to Mark Boucher. Shows a lack of cricket from Azam Mahmood. He's been out for quite some time. Just guarded it straight to the keeper. Boy, are they in deep trouble. 94 for 7. Rana Naveed is the new batsman for Pakistan. Yeah. To do something. Ah! Well now. Huge appeal from Boucher and from Kemp. He was well forward. The only thing that saved him is the big stride, and that's surely. Uh, no doubt at all. You'll need a bit of luck to score. Oh, A.B. de Villiers has had a, a great day in that area. And it, He's hit that well, but the full one. Well in this time ends him up. But it gives it teeny as the hundred comes up in the 40th over. Has lost wickets throughout. Edge and the appeal is out. Butch has taken another inside edge. And Ronald Avid is not 
delighted with that. But uh, Makai and Tini and Mark Boucher certainly were. Another one with the inside edge. Imran Nazir, the first one. Did he get a little touch? It might have just flicked a pad on the way through, and that's why he's trying to indicate it. The umpire thought it was out, and that's the one who counts. Ron and Naveed gone for three. 100 for eight. That's just his fourth match for the 26-year-old. I tend to push the inner field back. Let him have it if he wants it. Ah, oh, he's nicked it instead. Oh, well, and off he goes. Doesn't uh, wait for the umpire, doesn't have to, and uh, good umpiring too. He didn't need to give him out, so he didn't bother. He was not to convince those behind the wicket. And Mark Boucher picks up his sixth catch, which is a record for South Africa. That's more than a fine edge. It just rode off the outside edge. And Ramon gone for naught. Hasn't troubled the scorers. And Pakistan 106 for nine. Uh, long conversation here with Mohammed Asif, also a left-hander. Bowled him out. End of the innings. Andrew Hall continues from where he left off in Port Elizabeth, where he bowled so well the four wickets. Here at Newlands, he's got... And Andrew Hall again, right there in terms of his lines and lengths. Too good for the towel ender. That sadly ends what has been a very disappointing innings for Pakistan. So South Africa only require 108 to win. And uh, they've put in a wonderful, wonderful performance here. Dismissing Pakistan for 107 with almost five overs to spare here, only in not out. Never really got going for Pakistan, they were under pressure from ball one, excuse me. Other than that, it was a woeful story. Never really in it in terms of trying to get something going. Great South African bowling, but one has to say, the way they would dismiss the Pakistan batsmen, one has to question now they've actually gone about this innings today. And now they've left the bowlers some tremendous work to do. Welcome back, folks. Lunch has been taken. Pakistan just out on the field, limbering up. And that is the story for South Africa. 108 runs. Re Pakistan on the mat very early in the innings. And that is exactly what he's got. If Pakistan can match South Africa under some sort of pressure... It shouldn't have changed too much the overhead conditions the periods where we had some sun but now it's back to being cloudy again what's that in finish on the cards here well this won't help pakistan's cause it's swung it's beaten everyone and found the boundary Excellent running. Cracked away through the offside. Unfamiliar start from Mohamed Asif. Second boundary of the over. Pitch. Maybe they didn't bat well enough. That's a very nice drive. Good balance. And falling through aggressively with his bat. Strays onto the pads and Smith picks up a second. Yeah, Bob Wilmer described him as this. Well, that wasn't that short. Maybe De Vries deciding that on this occasion, that South Africa will attack here yeah. by South Africa. Putting it away quite forcefully over Miron's head. He's not impressed, Mohamed Asif. How will he come back from this blow? More charged up or uh, has he given it up? Good go all the way. 
third boundary of the innings. Ends the over, 25 without loss. <laughs> to four. Struggling here again with his length, Rana Navid. And uh, the rest have confidence in his abilities, but if he's out of touch, out of form, this kind uh, of deal from Graham Smith and company will dent his confidence further. So maybe he need a breather. Maybe a rest could do him uh, a world of good. Now through the onside. Smith playing him on length, not on line. That was a fairly straight delivery. Just missing those lengths too much for a ball at this level. 38 without loss. Pulled away with power. Yeah, a good shot from uh, A.V. De Villiers. And, yeah, just to finish off, Jack, is the other reason that they were in A2, no matter what, is trying to premeditate it. He realised it was going to be short. Got it up just about waist high and pummeled away. 43. Oh, again. oh dear. Well, there's a good example of exactly what Barry's talking about. Chanty Rose. And we could. They don't even look athletic, some of them, do they? It's almost like they fear the ball coming to them, and you can't have that when you're uh, out in the field. Hi, and handsome. It stopped quite quickly, and it's just too. And it brings. Again, whipped away, just a couple of bounces and over the boundary, so A.V. de Villiers, he's not holding back. Better than away from it, so it's always going to go up and over. It's not played in the ideal way if you look at the head, because uh, leaning away from it, the bat must always go 130 to 100. It's a good slow ball. There's a bouncer which he had to wait for and then just swatted it away. Another boundary for uh, A.B. de Villiers, that's eight and all for South Africa, and uh, bear in mind that only nine were hit by Pakistan in their retire innings. <laughs> 69 without loss. I thought I must have misread the wicket very poorly. Round, but it's all scrambled, won't spin too much, and it's too short. <laughs> and here's a big one, down the ground. And a few rows back, I would guess, yeah. Well, he recognised that it wasn't going to turn. Just come into... That's exactly what uh, A.B. de Villiers has done. Again, you see the scrambled seam. That won't turn too much. Just a little. But he's uh, down the pitch. He'd made his mind up where it was going, and that's where... Who knows? Chase here for the third man. He's not going to get there. boundary this time for Smith yeah, it's a good one too just waited no Smith but and again he plays a really good one he's got a closed face with the bat and he has to really open it up when he wants to play that square cut so often you see him uh, putting it into the ground that time he got the bat nice and square to the ball giving him time to set himself up 12 of the last five of this racing away South Africa And almost with disdain now. Let's get it. this over as fast as we possibly can. Just runs down the wicket. He's such a strong man. He just muscles it away. That's it. De Villiers up in the air. Mohamed Asif underneath it. And drops it. Very casual bit of fielding. That uh, just about sums up the day for me.
Very, very casual. And they've got another run. And it's hit Smith. Casualness. Far too full to play this shot. Try to go for the six up. Went straight up in the air. Nice and casual. Boom. On the ground. gets this away for four. 12 off and over, then nine off and over, then nine off this one, so they're just absolutely racing away with it. And this one wasn't fit a spin, but certainly not enough to worry a good player. Very slow, time to set himself up. He knows there's a little bit of spin, and I'll just uh, up and over. Flat, hard, and six. Just eight runs away from victory now, South Africa. They're absolutely racing away with it. 36 or three overs. And Terry, one side has dominated the other. And then we had the rain one at PE where that might have been an interesting game. Down the ground, Smith goes to 49. De Villiers on 49. And uh might have a tee off time at about four. And that should allow De Villiers to go to his 50 as well as Graham Smith achieves his 22nd half century in this form of the game along with six centuries captain 43 deliveries 1664 so 30 in boundaries for Graham Smith done with the minimum of fuss and a lot of power <laughs> 50 for De Villiers his fifth. No hundreds as yet. Just one to get. Scores a level. Stanwell, no, just short of it, but six for sure. An emphatic victory. Pakistan were nowhere today. South Africa were all over them like a rat. Just an unbelievable game. All over at 3.25 in the afternoon. Ten wicket victory. And South Africa never looked in any danger from the time that Sean Pollock got the very first wicket, that of Imran Nazir early on when he was back in the pavilion for a zero. South Africa have outbatted, outfielded and outbowled Pakistan by an absolute mile. Congratulations all round. But Pakistan will go away from this with uh, a lot of uh, thinking to be done before the World Cup. And then they've got the game on uh, Wednesday. Can they come back? Ten wickets and 36 overs to spare. That's the first time South Africa have beaten Pakistan by 10 wickets. Graham Smith thanking what must be a quite a disappointed crowd in a lot of ways. I think they would have liked a game that went on a little bit longer. They'll be delighted that their team won it. But they would have liked a little bit more, more of a show from the opposition. But it's been a very, very clinical performance. The bowlers were superb. One Smith won the toss. They gave Pakistan nothing, which forced them into strange dismissals, trying to run the ball down. Two of their top batsmen trying to run the ball to third man, edged it off to Boucher. Boucher took six catches, only the fourth wicketkeeper in the history of the game to do that in one day internationals. And uh, then Smith and De Villiers walk out there and just pummeled 
the Pakistan attack to all parts of the ground. 113 off just 40. Oh, I don't want to talk about the bowling. They've disappeared, all of them. I think the only thing that can be said is... After a wonderful performance by the South African team. Pakistan all out for 107. South Africa, 113 without loss. And win by 10 wickets and lead the series with one to play by two matches to one.